Wow, Spirit has some serious competition. How's it going guys? It's the Pixlay Pumpkin and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be breaking down and analyzing this teaser that was leaked from Home Depot Halloween 2021. Um, now this, I went on a wild goose chase to find a good quality version of this and unfortunately the only best quality version I could find it was like a 480p or I'm um, pretty sure like a 540p, something like that. And it's not that great quality, but we're just gonna have to deal with it for this video. I'll be doing my best to break it down. Now, I think this, the version of this, um, that's actually a high quality or um, a better quality, and all the props actually for Home Depot, their site for purchasing props is actually going live, or so I heard, is going live at on Friday the 16th at like 10 a.m. or something. Um, obviously, that's probably when the good quality version of this teaser will be released, but there's so much between then and now, like the Graveyard Shift teaser, I just have a lot of videos to make. So I just wanted to make this one today since I really haven't made one in a while. And tomorrow on the 15th, obviously, is the Graveyard Shift. I'll be a little late to getting that video done, but it'll definitely be here for you guys to check out all the new Spirit Halloween props. But now I guess without any more hesitation, let's really break into this because we see all of their new lineup for this year, Home Depot that is, of course. And I cannot wait to break this down because there is so many cool props this year. I'm still holding it that this is that this lineup is not as good as last year's. I think there's just a few really solid props last year that don't really, I don't think, can really compete with this. But there is definitely one in particular that is a clown, but it's the best clown ever made in my opinion. So I cannot wait to break that down for you guys. So I guess without any more hesitation, let's jump right into it. Alright, so starting off with this first shot here, I'm going to be breaking this down similar to how I broke down the spirit teasers, we'll just go through frame by frame, um, but for this first shot here, we get just a great view at pretty much all the props for this year. Obviously, there's a lot of fog, and again, the video is very low quality, but we get to see a ton of stuff. Um, I'm not going to go in detail on every single thing, but we do see that new Jester prop, which I touched on a little bit in the intro. Definitely a fantastic prop. We see the Fairy of the Dead, which was mentioned in my other Home Depot video. And we see that statue guy again. I forget what he's called. I'm sorry. Um, then we see this little dancing witch at the bottom, and I'm really only be going to be focusing on props props in this video. I won't be really touching on the inflatables. Those just really aren't important to me. And I'm sure you guys rather see the props. So again, you could see the guy holding the sword in the corner there. Um, and in all the way in the back, you could see the headless horseman there again and a witch prop. And just overall, this is a pretty cool shot of their, uh, just a, a ton of props. I really enjoy, um, a lot of these here. So we'll go way in depth into a lot of them later. So I guess let's continue on. The next shot we have is a ton of new pumpkins for this year being sold at Home Depot. Obviously, there are a few returning ones mixed in, but the reason why I'm focusing on this um, little teaser here is that there is a ton of new versions of the flaming pumpkins. Now, Techie is going all the way in, and if you know me, um, the flaming pumpkin is one of my favorite tabletops of all time, especially from Techie. I absolutely love it, and I'm so happy that they're making so many more versions this year. Some of them include this giant flaming pumpkin, which looks awesome, and it's only $20 more than the original one so i might pick it up i don't know yet it's still a big possibility for me because i just absolutely love the design um another one is like these ones with like the stitched up mouths almost that's like the best way to describe it i really like those um i definitely am planning to purchase one of those since i'm pretty sure they're a little bit cheaper and overall i'm just really excited to see these in person and their flaming effects because i'm not sure if they're going to use the exact same style of flaming effect as the um, original rotten flaming pumpkin i really hope they do since it's perfect Perfect in my opinion and yeah i'm just really happy we're getting more rotten flaming pumpkins now only if they integrated this flame effect into a prop the next shot of the next prop we have is of the warrior skeleton and we get a very good look at his animation here so let's just break it down so he has so much movement way more than anyone probably expected here is a stock photo of what he looks like so you can get a better, better look and now back to the video again there's just so much animation packed in here. His head turns, his mouth moves, and there's also his whole torso turns, which is just crazy to me. I only thought he was going to have, like, a, a mouth moving in all honesty. I thought he was just going to have simple mouth moving because he kind of looked like a pack prop a little bit. But I don't think this is pack. I think it might be SVI. I'm still really unsure. But I think the animation here is absolutely incredible. As I mentioned in my other video, this is really the only medieval prop I like this year. Um, well, I kind of like him. He's still not my favorite, but I think the animation is just incredible here. And um, I, I think a lot of people will end up liking this guy a lot. I do like the um, Dark Angel or whatever it was called, the statue guy with the sword better. Um, but it is really cool to see this so much animation packed into this guy. So I can't wait to see him in person. 
Moving right along to our next prop, we have the Jester. Now, this guy looks incredible. Here is a stock photo of him right now. This has been out for a few days. I was going to make a video on it if I got a few more high-quality photos as like a part two to my Home Depot lineup video, but I just never ended up getting enough to really warrant making a video. But now you can see him here. Um, I'm, I'm sure this is the first time a lot of you are seeing this. Maybe not. Um, but let's just start breaking this guy down. It looks like he is off in the video, but you do get a much better look at his face, and he just looks so, so good. I'm going to be honest, this is probably my favorite clown prop of all time, even though we don't even know what he says yet, even though we only got a very small glimpse at his animation, this thing just looks incredible in my opinion. I absolutely love it. It's creepy, it's scary, the design is fantastic, the detail is incredible. And I think a lot of people can agree with this being the best Home Depot prop for this year. That's right. The, my favorite prop from a store this year is it turns out to be a clown. But the thing is, this is an amazing clown prop. I think he will retail for $200. I don't know if that's going to change, which to be honest is a little bit high for Home Depot standards. I was more expecting this to be in line with the Grave Diggers price at like... 170 180 um but it is still a pretty fair price in my opinion knowing spirit if th if they had this at their store it'd probably be like 270 270 dollars or something like that so it is cool to see home depot still having a little bit lower prices i feel like they definitely raised it up this year with how big of a boom their halloween was last year um but still this is and just an incredible prop and i cannot wait to see what it fully does in person i think it is going to be amazing also on friday there's going to be a compilation video you could guarantee it of all the videos of every prop for this year and i'm just over so excited for this halloween 2021 season there's so much going on and again this jester is just phenomenal our next shot showing off new props is of the jack and sally animatronics from jemmy that have been sold for years now but that's not what i want to focus on if you look to the left which i'll zoom in for you right now we see the man eating plant and you get a very good look at his animation here he will come back later in the video but i just want to discuss a little bit of him here now he looks gigantic and also he will be retailing for a hundred dollars which is a great prop price um this looks much better in the video than he did from the stock photo i absolutely love the way this thing looks um and it does look like it has size to side animation as well which comes as a huge surprise to me i really thought it was only going to have mouth animation and especially for a hundred dollars with mouth animation and side to side animation that's that's a very very good price for home depot um i really am enjoying the man eating plant a lot it looks great um that we'll definitely have to talk more about a little bit later on in the video but for now this looks very cool the next shot we have is of the new pumpkin duo being sold at Home Depot this year, and I'm very surprised to see that they have mouth animation. This took me way off guard when I first saw this little teaser Home Depot put out. I was honestly not expecting them to have mouth animation at all. Um, they do a very good job pack. I mean, did a very good job hiding their jaw mechanism. It looked honestly just like it would have just side to side animation. Their heads would turn side to side, I mean, and they would just say phrases and maybe their eyes will light up with in rhythm of what they're saying but i'm very happy to see mouth animation on these two that's very good in my opinion i absolutely love how they made it blend in seamlessly i'm pretty sure a lot of people just completely missed that these two will have mouth animation so it is cool to see another look at them they do look very good in my opinion and i think home depot made a very good choice by selling these this year instead of the um svi ones these look way way better um and overall these are just really two little cute little pumpkin duo animatronics they're only three feet again but still these look great our next prop we have to take a look at is the man eating plant again i told you he's gonna come back so here he is now we get a pretty good look at his face um you could see his jaw moving animation looks really good in my opinion his um upper face or where his eyes are and his upper jaw look really good um i think that's made out of like thicker plastic but the bomb jaw is made out of this really flimsy looking plastic you could literally see it jiggling in the video um unfortunately i wish it was like better plastic but I, it was kind of expected from the stock photos a little bit um this still looks really good in my opinion though i think he does have that side to side animation again um his face almost kind of looks like an alligator a little bit that's another thing i just wanted to touch on um i do get the appeal with this man eating plant and i think he is a really solid prop and definitely from this close-up here he does look a lot better than the stock photos which is interesting to me and overall i really do like this guy a lot 
so the next prop we have is this new book reading, which, again, I really do not like this one very much. It is a very basic and ugly looking witch prop, in my opinion. It's probably just going to be another stupid one that says the stupid, same, overused phrases, and I, honestly, there's really only one witch prop I like out of all of them, and that's the Witch of Stolen Souls. Um, that one is good. All the other ones are just awful, in my opinion. They make for such bad props. I really do not like this one one bit. The face looks bad. It, like, looks all deformed here, too. And overall, I really think Home Depot really should stop doing witch props. It definitely hinders their lineup a lot for me. I don't know why they sell so well. I mean, I get the witch trio and the witch duo, maybe, um, with the pot. I think that's one of the better witches, but especially this one. This one just looks terrible, in my opinion, and I'm not looking forward to it being in the stores, too. But, um, yeah, that's it for this ugly thing. Now, the next prop we have is of the new Headless Horseman prop for this year. This was another one that was released after I made my video, so I'll show you the stock photo real quick. There it is. Um, definitely one of my favorite um, Headless Horseman designs ever made. But up until now, we have not noticed that that a pumpkin actually has mouth animation. Now, I thought this was just going to be another simple Headless Horseman prop. Maybe um, the head will just light up to what the words are saying. But Pack is killing it this year with hiding mouth movement on props. I mean, two. Like, still, that's amazing, considering you could just tell that all their, like, their prompts by the, like, v ventriloquist dummy mouth that all of them have. You could definitely see it. But here, it just looks great. Now, this looks fantastic, in my opinion. I love the mouth animation this thing has. Um, also, I like how there's the red light inside it every time it opens its mouth there's a red light that flashes that looks amazing as well um i this is probably one of my favorite versions of a headless horseman prop we've ever gone in probably the only other one that like really comes close to it in my opinion or probably around tie with it is the one on the horse i think i like that one a little bit better i think the pumpkin design there is better but this is a very unique pumpkin design as well i am definitely liking the pumpkin designs this year from home depot they're all fantastic um especially the flaming ones we already talked about those but um again this is a fantastic um uh what do you call it? headless horseman prop i absolutely love it especially the axe the design of the axe looks great as well um but that's pretty much it for him so let's continue on we got a few more props left Next prop we have is a great look at the Inferno Reaper for this year. As you can see, he does have mouth animation, and those lights in the eyes look amazing. We do get a better look. Um, unfortunately, though, in the rib cage, the light they use just looks like a generic um, flame light, not the same module that's used on the Rotten Flaming Pumpkins, which is a very big letdown to me. I th that seriously needs to be used on actual props and not just little tabletops. It's such a fantastic effect. Um, now, maybe it is. I really can't tell that well. It doesn't look like it, though. It looks like a little bit too bright for it to be like that. Um, but still, this is a great Reaper prop. I love the giant scythe he holds. That looks fantastic. And um, I'm still not sure if this is Techie or SVI yet. My guess is pretty much now on SVI. Um, it would have been cool to see Techie make this. They definitely would have used that flame light or the flame flaming module that would have looked better again um but still this is a great look at the inferno reaper and i can't wait to see what he says and what he really does the next prop we have is of honestly a very poorly made and honestly a pretty bad prop in my opinion but it, this is a new rocking prop for this year um a video of it was actually leaked a while back like a really while back um I, i'm afraid to play it since i think this video will get like copyright something i don't know um it seemed to be happening a lot of other people that's why i'm not really showing any of those videos but this one is just like not a good prop at all in my opinion it's like this ugly looking witch which looks really bad her phrases she's singing i'm pretty sure um hush little baby it it sounds terrible and she has a pack doll in her lap which is way too small and every time she rocks it looks like she ends up crushing it which looks very stupid i just think this is a very bad pack prop I'm pretty sure it's pack. I'm not sure if it's SVI, and they just used the pack um, doll head mold. I'm really not sure, um, but this is just a such a poorly made prop. I think there could have been something way better in this place. I don't know why they always have a rock. Ha feel like they have to have a rocking prop and a rocking chair every single year. Home Depot, because um, last year we had that like skeleton with the cat, and the year prior we had the witch. I really don't feel like. I don't understand why they have to have one of those every year. I don't know if they sell well or something. I can't really imagine it. Maybe except for the witch. Um, I think that one was probably a good seller so like to put on your porch. But this one is just awful in my opinion. And I doubt many people will be buying this thing. Now for our final prop, we have this new Digi Eyes pumpkin skeleton monster. I'm going to throw up his stock photo right now just so you could get a better look at him. 
and I do like this one a lot. Unfortunately, it's like $60, I think, which is not worth it at all, in my opinion. But let's just break this guy down, since I do like him quite a bit. I really love his pumpkin face. First of all, having, like, these human teeth makes it look super uncanny and creepy, which I love. That's definitely my favorite part about this, um, the uncanniness that comes with this um, pumpkin face here. I think the the work they, the sculpt job they did is amazing. Um, the Digi Eyes are definitely another, uh, an unnecessary addition, addition. And I really wish they used something else besides the basic eye um, animation that plays. They could have had something so cool here, like flames or something. That would have been nicer, like fiery eyes. I have no clue. But something other than this, please. Um, but it, it does look like a very cool little pumpkin skeleton. Um, I do like it a lot. Again, the uncanniness that the face brings is so cool. Unfortunately, it just has a very basic looking skeleton body. W it would have been cool to see something a little bit different that more resembles like vines or something first body. But again, it is a nice little skeleton prop. It's, it's not really an animatronic. It does look cool. And yeah, that's it for this whole lineup. So I guess let's head to the outro. Well everyone, that's it for this video. Be sure to tell me what you think of all these new Home Depot props in the comments below. I know my other Home Depot overview of their whole lineup for this year kind of blew up. Um, as of now, I think it has like 36,000 something views, which is awesome. Um, but I really cannot wait to see these this stuff in person. Um, I'm maybe going to buy the Jester. I really want to. It looks so amazing. We'll just have to wait and see. Since obviously Home Depot is a bit more pricey this year with their life size, which I'm kind of disappointed in them for. I, as I said so many times last year, their prices are phenomenal. Um, and this year, I feel like their prices are just going up more. So that's definitely a downside of this year, definitely. But that Jester looks awesome. All right, so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, check out the merch in the description below. And if you want to reach me on Instagram, my link for my Instagram account is down there too. And with that, I guess, as always, this is Pixley Pumpkin, signing out.